Welcome to our Wednesday Hoops Pickup Basketball Game. Hi, I'm your host Arthur and we're going to be discussing our very first game of the evening here on July 24th, 2013, which is Pioneer Day uh, that the Mormons uh, celebrate when Brigham Young and his cadre came into the Salt Lake Valley, into Utah. So this is our first game. We have a very interesting matchup between the Sealsters and the Clarksters. Uh, the interesting addition to our series today is Clark, the gentleman in the yellow shirt, who is an excellent basketball player with an all-around game, who in combination with Poku, who brings dynamic athleticism and playmaking, along with a supporting cast of J.O.K. Luff and Art, against the Sealsters, led by David Seal, and outside shooter John, utility scorer Russ, outside shooter Chuck, and really one of the best shooters we have on the court, Lace, uh, Lacey there. And so this is an interesting matchup between um, uh, some defense and some shooters and uh, old guys and guys who can't do much and some guys who can do some things. I'm joined here by Jimbo, who will be our color commentator today. He's a little under the weather and may be speaking a little less than normal. So here we are about to start the game between the Clarksters and the Steelsters. 0-0, zero, zero, first game of the evening. John takes the ball from the outside, gives it over to Dave. Ball moving around the outside, Russ driving to the middle, and Dave attempts to pass inside. It's blocked by Poku, who maintains his defense on Dave. Dave with a nice turnaround bucket, and the Steelsters are up 2-0. to zero. Poku bringing the ball up the court. And we see uh, Poku driving it. And this is something that Poku is very good at. He can drive and hit from the outside. Gives the ball off to Kaloff. Looks at outside to Clark. Clark gives the ball to Poku. Wide open three-pointer. Little hesitation. And he misses the shot off the front iron. And John coming the other way. John driving on Poku, which is fairly ambitious given the size difference and, dare I say, athleticism difference. And he's not able to finish that shot. J.O. with a little give and go to Kevin Clark. Nice assist. And the Clarksters are now up 3-2. to two. Hi, this is Jimbo and Clark. He's got an outside shot. He's also got the mid-range game. And he's an underrated defender and rebounder, as we see there, as he brings down the rebound. And Clark with the rebound gives the ball off to J.O. Again with 3-2 lead, gives the ball back to J.O. And he looks right. Oh, he loses the ball. And the ball goes out to Russ, who finishes with a nice right hand. Um, over a charging Poku, and it's now 4-3, to three, the Sealsters in the lead. So a little bit of a turnover there, and the Sealsters make the Clarksters pay for that. Here we go with Poku, looking inside, a little around the back pass to Art, who flips the ball out to J.O., who, again, another turnover by J.O., has had a little bit of a rough start in this game, um, as the ball goes over to the Sealsters, who are ahead, 4-3. to three. Now Clark with the ball after a missed shot, dribbles between the legs, gives the ball off to J.O., who passes to Art, a little bit behind him, he drops the ball, gets it back though, K. Luff fumb fumbles the ball, and what do we see here, an inside lob to Kevin Clark, a little redemption for J.O. on that, as he comes back nicely to get an assist to Clark. With the Clarksters now leading 5-4 to four with Clark with all five points. And here we see that Clark is indeed an X-Factor who will change the game based on his myriad of skills. And there we go with the three-point shot. The Sealsters now up 7-5. to five. So, oh, another turnover from the Clarksters. And a pass over to John who attempts a three-pointer. It's no good. Art extremely high for that rebound. And he gives the ball off to Joku as the ball moves, Poku, excuse me, as the ball moves forward, and a little jumper from Poku, no good, rebound by J.O., who throws it out to Art, gives it off to Ke gives it off to Clark, and another inside pass from Joku, who misses the easy left-hand shot, so a little bit of a tough thing there, as uh, there was a great pass on the inside, but Poku unable to finish. Now Lace on the outside with a little jumper, and it bounces in and out. Nice shot. So by my score, my record here, my reckoning, uh, the Sealsters are up 9-5. to five. And a little break in the action, a little check ball here. What do you have for us, Jimbo? Well, a very nice game so far. We're seeing the outside shooting of the Sealsters. 
Uh, we're also seeing the inside game action and passing from the Clarksters. It'll be interesting if the Clarksters can stop the turnovers and get some consistency. Uh, we may see a closer game. Now David Seal checking the ball in to Poku. Gives it off to Art. A little bit of screening action at the top of the key. Ball goes nice pass by Art on the inside as Clark cut to the middle. And nice little action there. And so we see that uh, the Clarksters have been um, very effective um, on the inside passing uh, around the rim. And so if they can combine that with the outside shooting and less turnovers, they may be able to get back in the game as the Sealsters are up 9-7. to seven. Now Lace at the top of the key gives it off to Dave Seal. And the ball goes out to Russ. Clark on him. Russ driving in. Almost a turnover. Dave Seal driving in. He's got the advantage on Art with the height. He misses the shot. And Clark with another rebound. Moves up with the left hand. Goes to his right. Pull up jumper. No good. Seal with the rebound. Gives it off to John. Transition opportunity here. Pauses for the three-pointer. No shot available. Gives it off to Seal. J.O. on him. Lay circling around. He's got the open shot. A little bit short on that. Rebound. Another rebound by Clark. Gives it off to Poku. Transition opportunity. Nice little dish off from Poku. And now it's a tie game. Clarksters 9-9. So we see that the Clarksters are getting a lot of inside easy shots through lobs and cuts and backdoor cuts. And so it's a tie game. The uh, Sealsters not shooting very effectively right now from the outside. The ball goes to Chuck. John circling around the top, drives inside, Poku on him, kicks the ball outside to Lace, gives the ball over to Dave, Dave driving, Lace with an open two point opportunity from the top of the key, no good, rebound, Kevin up high for the rebound in front of Dave Seal. So we see that uh, the Sealsters are getting some good shots but aren't able to put them down. Little Lob inside, inaccurate with the pass, Art, Poku can't handle it. And then we see John taking a three-point shot from the outside, rattles out, rebound, goes back to John. He dribbles, looking, and Russ with the pass on the outside to Chuck, and Seal with the ball at the top of the key. Who attempts a three-pointer, it is short and left. Clark with another rebound, driving to his... Nice play as he crossed over Seal and was able to finish with the left hand. Again, Clark is an excellent ball player. We see that time and time again as he's getting rebound after rebound and putting in the shots. Now John with a three-point attempt. Nice little fake. He's able to put it in for the Sealsters taking a 12-11 to lead. Now Kevin bringing the ball up. What will happen is Kevin brings the ball up. He dribbles right. He dribbles right. Oh! Didn't see the backside help on defense, and it was almost a turnover. Now Kevin with the ball, excuse me, J.O. with the ball from the left side, puts in an all-net three-pointer for the Clarksters, who take a 14-12 lead. Excellent shot by J.O. And so what will the Sealsters do now? Chuck Ball to bring in the ball up. He gives the ball off to Lace. Little screening action at the top of the key with Seal. No shot there. Gives the ball up. Little pass inside to Russ as he has Clark on him, doesn't have the shot opportunity, gives the ball up to Seal. So one thing you have to think about with Seal on the outside is if he's open at the three-point line, is he going to be able to take that shot? And if he's not going to take the shot, the defense has time to recover. So that's one thing we've noticed in this game. And the Sealsters with the two-point shot, and the ball game is tied 14-14. to Close game we have here so far. Now Clark driving inside is fouled, and the ball will be reset at the top of the key. So it's a very close game, 14-14. to We're seeing a little bit better play, some made shots, less turnovers, and uh, nice little play here, nice little game we have going here. So Art with the ball, looking right, passes to J.O., who's got an open three-pointer on that little pick action at the top, and it's no good, but he is fouled, and he is grimacing as he grabs his right hand, might be a little bit of a uh, acting job there in terms of the amount of pain he's showing, but he did draw the foul, so the ball stays with the Clarksters. Now, Poku with a difficult fading two-point jumper, 
and it's a 16-14 lead for the Clarksters. Seal driving in on the baseline. He's double teamed. Gives the ball off to Lace. The Clarksters recover on defense. Now Lace driving in. Little give and go action from Dave Seal, who had the opportunity to take a shot perhaps, but took a dribble. And that gave Luff enough time to recover and do the bear hug foul. So it's a 16-14 lead for the Clarksters. John passing the ball to Lace. We've seen that Lace has gotten open, uh, been able to get a little, you know, on a, on a little cut here and there, a little movement. He's been able to get open for some shots, but he hasn't put them down as he normally does. So Kevin working hard, Luff working hard on Lace, and we'll see if he can hold him in check. Now the ball goes into Dave, who's got J.O. on his back. High advantage here, not necessarily a weight advantage. Now Russ driving, shooting from the top. It's off the back iron. Russ making a cut on the inside. Nice pass, nice cut, nice finish. And it's a 16-16 lead. 16-16 tie, excuse me, on that score. And here we go. Getting towards the end of the game. We play these games to 21. First to 21 is the winner. And you do not need to win by any particular amount. Just need to get to 21 first. Poker with a nice drive finishes with his right hand. It is 18-16. Clark stares ahead. Now John passing to Dave at the top of the key. Three-pointer from the corner. No good. The rebound goes to Kaluff. Who fires up a difficult pass, but he's able. It's intercepted by Chuck. But Kevin is able to grab the ball, gets the ball off to Clark, and wow, what a nice but perhaps lucky play on the first the inerrant pass, but Chuck unable to handle it and retain the ball. So now the Clark starts with the 20 to 16 lead, and it looks like they are in control of the game. Now John looking for a shot, fakes, passes, ball goes inside to Lace, who turns it over. Art with the Art with the loose ball there, and now it's game point with the Clarksters with the opportunity to put the game away with a made bucket. Clark looking on the outside. He's got Kaluff on the inside. Little lob pass, but it's blocked from behind by Lace. What an excellent defensive play there. Will this turn around the Sealsters? Can they score a bucket here? Now Lace fumbles the ball. He's, they've got a little bit of, a, a bit of an advantage there, two on one, when able to get off the open three pointer. Now another shot. No good. Rebound Kevin. Oh, what a disappointment, Jimbo. Yeah, Sealsters had their opportunities there. Wide open shots and weren't able to put them down. That's been the story of the game for them a little bit. They've had shots but haven't made them. And so here we see the Clarksters again with game point. Up 20-16, to 16, game point. Will they be able to get in the shot here and finish the game? Kevin again posting up on Lace on the inside. Three seconds. Luckily, we don't call those things in these games as far as the, uh, as far as the Clarksters are concerned. Pass inside to Joku for Mart. Joku goes up, but it looks like either a turnover or a foul. What will it be? Chuck is signaling turnover by doing a little run out, but apparently that run out was premature, and the ball re will be retained by the Clarksters. So, good game we have going here. We got some guys on the sideline ready to play the next game. Now J.O. with the outside three-point opportunity open, but it rattles in and out. So again, we are, the score remains 20-16 to 16 with the Sealsters behind. John bringing the ball up. Little pick action from Dave Seal. Three-pointer. No good off the front iron. And the ball goes out of bounds. Did Chuck have the opportunity to get that rebound, Jimbo? Well, looked like if he had maybe run a little faster, he could have had an opportunity to grab that. So now Art at the top of the key. Goes right, looks inside, passes off to J.O., who dishes to Poku, who puts the ball in. Nice little action there. And it is game as the Clarksters win, 22-16. to What an excellent game to start off with. And as we go to break, we will now turn to our game two in just a moment as the camera turns off. Thank you for joining us. It's been a pleasure to bring you this game, a very fine pickup basketball that I know you've come to enjoy 